To cast these little cars, I'm using the Amazing Mold Maker Silicone by Alumalite. Once mixed and degassed, I placed some silicone in the through holes of the master and began pouring silicone rubber from one corner, allowing it to spread around the mold, reducing air bubbles. After at least 24 hours of curing, the mold box is removed and a finished mold is ready to use. This mold will incorporate a TRCP logo. For casting these cars, I have two types of resins, urethane and epoxy. Both are two-part compounds, but I'm using epoxy for some of the cars due to the ease of coloring with high-quality acrylic paint. The only drawback to epoxy is the long cure times versus urethane's 20-minute demold time. When pouring resins, just as silicone, you want to minimize the bubbles, so pouring from the lowest point and allowing the mixture to spread is crucial. Now for the lower portion, or wheel assembly, I'm using Alumilite Black Urethane Casting Resin. This has a demold time of about 30 minutes. For urethane resins, a pressure chamber is used to force all of the existing air out of the mixture. Once fully cured, I remove the lower portions from their silicone molds. To clean up any additional material or flash, I sanded the mating surfaces with some 120 grit sandpaper and some needle files. When sanding resins, always wear an N95 mask to prevent fine particles from being inhaled. After a day or two, our epoxy pour has cured and can be removed. You can see the red pigment from the paint dyed the car body perfectly. However, dye can alter the properties of the resin and it can become a little flexible upon removal. Here is a blue car for a friend, also dyed with acrylic paint. Now for the hardest part of all, painting the embossed lettering black. Using acrylic paint and painter's tape, I incorporated a solid rubber roller. This worked all right, but in the future I need to find a cleaner method. Once the paint dries, I will assemble the car fully and coat it in matte enamel paint and primer. This will lock in the lettering and give consistency to the assembly. This car is assembled using four M3 socket screws and nylock nuts. My over-engineering the shit out of things is present in most of the things I touch, but I know you enjoy it. One thing I noticed while making these cars is that the silicone is so good at picking up fine details that every slight imperfection in the master model is then recast in resin. Going forward, I'll work to make things much cleaner. The final portion of the car ornament is adding some ribbon to hang it from your favorite spruce. Future versions of the car will be for the desktop, so I'll remove the ribbon loop. 